What up, Instagram and YouTube? It's your boy, Salty Red Corn, and I'm back with an ill-prepared knife surprise unboxing video. Coming at you live from the garage. My boy, Shield Arms, big supporter of the channel, really, really good friend. He sent me a box, and I always get really excited when he sends me a box because there's usually a lot of stuff to review in it. And I'm super, super duper duper stoked for that. All right, so here's the box. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And we're gonna get down to it, all right? All right, all right, all right. Some packing material, some packaging material, right? Always like to reuse that kind of stuff. And so, let's just get to it, all right? There's a bunch of these tacos in here. So we're gonna go through the tacos one by one and see what's popping. All right, yeah, yep, all right. So he recently got this um, Spartan Blades Harzy folder, right? Designed by Bill Harzy. This is something I've been wanting to own in my collection for the better part of two years, but I haven't, I've never shelled out more than $400. I've never shelled out more than $300, $350 for a knife, I think has been my max. And, uh, this is a little above that, and they're kind of hard to get. So, very excited to have this. This is the, I believe, St. Michael edition. It says, Defend Us in Battle, and it's deeply milled in the back. Right off the bat, yeah, yeah, I definitely want one. Woohoo! And the action is sick. All right, so, uh, William Harsey engraved on the back here. This thing is nasty, all right? It's built like a tank. We're going to go over a full review or, you know, a salty red corn full review in the future. So right off the bat, the fit and finish is gorgeous. The ergos are just kind of how I expected. They're freaking so good. And it's an awesome drop point blade shape. I definitely want one of these knives in my collection. And also, um, the St. Michael uh, holds a special place in my heart. Um, so I think this one is really, really cool in particular. I'm sure if he ever decides to, uh, sell this, I'll probably get dibs on it. And I definitely would, would definitely take this knife, um, hundred percent, um, seeing, you know, the special nature of the whole thing with the St. Michael. So, uh, really, really like this knife, man. Really excited to do a review on this and let's move along. All right. So what else is here in the box? All right, all right, all right, all right. So, this is some stuff that I sent him and he got to check out. And I'm excited to have it back. This is the Spyderco Gale Bradley 2 Salty Red Corn Edition with the, uh, who makes these things? Sharp Dress Knives, uh, Marbled Carbon Scales in M4, super razor sharp. This was sharpened by Brewhound77. He did a really good job on it. Uh, love this knife. Glad to have it back. And let's see what else do we have here in this box. All right. Let's see, what's this? All right, this is the other one. This is my MK Amalga. I let him review this too. He called it the uh, dinner fork. <laughs> and he's right. It's got a fork on it. M390 blade, my card. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, what else? What else? What else? All right. All right. This is something also very cool from Spartan Blades. Okay. If you can't get into that knife, this is the Aster, right? This is their budget knife. And this thing is like hitting way, way above its price range in my opinion. We have G10, I'm assuming stainless steel uh, liner on one side. The other side is full G10, deep carry pocket clip, and CTS XHP. The really nice belly on the blade, really nicely done G10. This knife right here, I think retails for like $120 roughly, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I think he picked this up on White Mountain Knives, if I'm not mistaken, for like $86, which is like he, he walked away with this one. He stole this one. Five-finger discount. This thing is really, really nice. Ex 
especially for that price. I think that they could probably charge more for it. Really smooth uh, Foster Bronze action. I love it. Nice big pivot hardware. Definitely a nice piece, especially for the price. I would consider this a uh, budget knife on the higher end of the spectrum. Spartan Blades Aster. Very, very awesome. Very excited to check that one out. <laughs> I'm assuming that this is a gift. This is a sticky pouch for an extra mag. He always wants me to carry an extra, extra mag. This is a sticky pouch for mags. I see another gift in here right after that. This is a uh, DeSantis concealed carry holster with an extra mag pouch. So, Santa, I'm carrying an extra mag from now on. You got me, bro. You really did, man. Super excited. Thank you very much, dude. Very, very appreciative for this. And I can't wait to rock this. I'm probably going to put my Rock 45 in this since it's a bigger holster. And uh, I'm really, really grateful. This is going to be pretty awesome. Let's see what else we have in this box. Yeah, a box of tricks. All right, that's the Harzi. I looked at that. All right, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, very excited for this. This is a ProTech. Mordax. This is a Ferrum Forge design collaboration uh, done with the drop, right? This is a CPM 20 CB blade. And uh, this is another knife that I've wanted since it came out, right? At first, they were hard to get. Pretty sure you can buy them now. This is the milled handle version. They also make it in a smooth handle version. And let's check that action. Oh, dude, this thing is way better than a Malibu. Way better than a Malibu, in my opinion. I'm loving this thing. I heard a lot of people when I first started looking at reviews of this thing complaining about the milled handle and how it's so rough on your hands, but I don't really feel like it's a problem at all, man. I actually happen to really like the milled handle. I think it's got some great grip on it. It doesn't bother me at all. Really nice forward soil on this. Ferrum Forge is really good at doing forward soils. And this one is done really nicely, just like I would expect. And the quality from this is just pure Pro-Tech quality. So super duper nice stone wash blade. We'll go over some of the specs possibly in the, um, in the full review. Well, the full salty red corn review. So, dude, very, very cool. Love this thing, man. Thank you for letting me check this out. Super excited. I definitely want to get one of these now, too. So, <laughs> you always got me, Santa. All right, what else we got in this box here? What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is the Off-Grid Knives Scorpion Elite Series, okay? Check them out. There's some of the Instagram information if you guys don't know about Off-Grid Knives. Uh, Santa's been collecting them, so, or should I say Shield Arms? Shield Arms has been collecting these. It comes with a very cool um, EDC style token right here. If that's something that you like to collect and carry. Let's check this knife out, man. All right. This is a large knife. And right off the bat, the pocket clip's beautiful. The fit and finish is done really nicely. Not a huge fan of this kind of basket weave carbon fiber material personally. But I think it fits the style of the knife. Let's check the action out. <laughs> oh, yeah. This action is really, really, really good. And I meant to mention before when I was holding that Mordax, I think the Mordax blade shape for EDC is super duper perfect. And um, I think that this blade shape is really nice too because you still have the belly of a drop point, but you almost have a reverse tanto shape as well. Like a modified reverse tanto shape with a beautiful swedge done here, a nice large swedge. So you get the belly that you need for EDC, but you also get this, Super nice tip, which is really good for piercing box, boxes and, and, you know, piercing tests and stuff like that. Maybe some utility cuts down at the end. Very, very nicely done. So frame lock, we're about 25%, maybe 35%. So really, really nice. Let's check out the closing action. Super duper smooth. This thing is running on bearings, running on bearings. Really nice hardware, just an overall clean looking knife, right? I realize this is going to be, you know, interesting for some of you and not interesting for others, but the ergos on this knife are as weird as the handle looks. The ergos are super, super good. My hand just melts right in there. 
and it's a larger blade. So I really think this would be a great EDC knife, especially for larger hands. I think this thing is pretty, pretty nice. Minimal branding on there. They just have a very subtle logo here. Super nice knife. Um, I'm not aware of the price of this, but I think they're they're in the $200 range somewhere. Maybe a little bit higher than that, maybe mid 200s. But uh, overall, really nice piece. Really nice coin. It comes with a cool coin. I like it. I dig it. Um, there's some other things in here that are Christmas gifts for somebody I shall not name. Uh, so I can't really show those right now. And uh, what's this? What do we got going on here? Two salty red corn. Love you, brother. Oh, man. I got a gift. You're too kind, my friend. And it's a knife. Oh, dude. This is a Ferrum Forge Stinger, if I'm not mistaken, in Nitro V G10 and a deep carry pocket clip for your boy. That is super duper generous of you, man. You know I love you so much, bro. This is really awesome. And we talked about this knife a lot in the DMs. He talked to me and told me that this is a great alternative to a pair of three. I could totally see that. We have a lot of usable blade here. And the ergos are really good with the finger toil, just like a paramilitary too. But this knife is much lighter and much thinner, right? Um, one of my biggest gripes with the pair of three, and you guys, if you guys follow my channel, you know that I've done the skinny mod to all my pair of threes, and that makes that knife perfect for me. Whereas with the belly and in, in the handle, it doesn't work for me because um, I have big hands, right? So that skinny mod brings the ergos in control for me and this thing doesn't have any belly this is very similar to what i've turned my pair of threes into so really really excited for this knife man really excited for this nitro v steel um this thing is awesome dude and thank you so much man i i can't i can't thank you enough very excited for this really really cool i like this fuller here i will definitely review this knife um in the future but for now i'm going to carry this thing around and really get a feel of it because uh you know, that's what we had talked about. This thing is super awesome. Very excited. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, that's going to do it for the unboxing. So I want to give a huge shout out to Shield Arms, bro. Thank you so much for letting me check this stuff out. It helps me bring content to all you guys out there. And uh, thank you for the gifts. Really, really, really. You got me carrying an extra mag now. You got me into a Ferrum Forge, right? We've been talking about Ferrum Forge. So super duper excited for that. And um, let's go over my EDC real quick, right? I don't have a knife. Well, I have a stinger now. Uh, I have this dog treat, right? Uh, no watch on. I just got home. I showered. I'm clean and fresh. I just wanted to come out and make this video. But I do want to mention that I am wearing the Mammoth Headgear Mountain Trucker hat in black. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can go check those out if you want to. They're made for big heads. I have a big noggin. They start at seven and three quarter or seven and five eighths and they go up from there. So um, once again, I love all you guys, man. I really appreciate everything from all you guys and uh, I love you. Peace out.